Okay, um, if, I'm, I'm very sorry to sort of overstay my welcome on this one, but as a public service, I'm going to tell the heavy boots story sort of um, wholesale rather than retail. So this will be let, less artisanal than usual, but I'll try to be brief, possibly without my usual talking speed. Sorry about that. So you can have the following quite surprising conversation with a lot of people, and I thought this was as well known as the barometer story. If you don't know the barometer story, ask almost anyone else here. This is the heavy boots story. You go up to the people concerned, and you say, if I put this pencil in front of my eyes and let go of it, what will happen? Uh, almost all people will say it will fall to the ground. You then say, OK, I go and stand on the surface of the moon in a spacesuit if you're worried about my continued well-being, um, and I put a pencil in front of my eyes and let go of it, what happens? A lot of people, and statistics I got in PISA last week from people I told the story to suggest 40 to 70% of the population will say it stays there or it flies away. You then ask them, and why is that? And they say, because there is no gravity on the moon. <laughs> you say, OK, then, have you ever seen pictures or videos or whatever of Apollo astronauts on the moon? They often say yes. Um, and you then ask them, and how did they manage to stay down and not fly away and so on? And you can see where this is going. They say, because they were wearing heavy boots, <laughs> yes. Um, so that is the heavy boots story. Um, the phase, the, the, traditionally, what happens now is that you don't really believe me, and what happened in Pisa was people laughed, they didn't believe me, then they came back the next day, ashen-faced, saying, oh my God, you're right. Um, and various people said 40%, 70% of people they tried it on said exactly that, and in one extreme case, I no longer have a mother. Um, and this is Italy we're talking about, where that's quite strong talk. Um, that's enough. If you want to know more about it or, or a link to the original version from 1989, um, come and talk to me afterwards. Thank you very much. <laughs>